Wyndham is an incredible person who we have all loved for years and he is just so friendly and lights up a room and is so creative. All of his fans in the WWE universe just couldn't believe what had happened. But sadly, it was real. It had happened. Bray Wyatt gone at the age of just 36. Bray Wyatt, real name Wyndham Rotunda, was born on May 23rd, 1987 in Brooksville, Florida. He is the son of professional wrestler Mike Rotunda, or IRS Erwin R. Scheister as he was known back in the early 90s in the WWF. Bray Wyatt had an extensive wrestling lineage, not only with his father but his grandfather also who was Blackjack Mulligan and his two uncles, Barry and Kendall Wyndham. He has a younger brother also, Taylor Rotunda, or as he is better known as, Bo Dallas. So wrestling was well and truly in his blood. Wyatt attended Hernando High School in Florida and earned a football scholarship to Troy University where he played college football for two years. He would leave the university just 27 credit hours short of earning a bachelor's degree. As it was at this time, he decided he wanted to dedicate his life to professional wrestling. I was playing football at the time, and uh, f football was going well. I played at uh, Troy University in Alabama, and I was there, but, but it, it just it just wasn't right, you know. It was like uh, I was itching to get at this, and my brother uh, he went uh, he went to FCW straight out of, after high school. And once he was in the door, I, uh, I pretty much, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I had to, I had to find my way out and, uh, it, it presented itself. After spending some time in WWE developmental FCW and even joining the Nexus under the name of Husky Harris, it was in 2012 where Rotunda introduced the WWE Universe to the character of Bray Wyatt. The Eater of Worlds. The backwoods cult leader who was now in the WWE to send a message to everybody that this man and his group of followers were not to be trifled with. The group started off in NXT and the fans quickly noticed that they were something to behold and demanded a shift up to the main roster. And this would happen the following year in 2013. Wyatt's first main roster match would come via a challenge from Kane at SummerSlam in a Ring of Fire match. Wyatt would win this match with help from family members Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. And the Wyatt family were then on their way. The WWE Universe would hold up their phones in the darkened arenas when the Wyatt family would enter. They were the self-proclaimed Fireflies of Bray Wyatt. As Wyatt's popularity grew, so did the importance of his matches. 2014 saw a massive match at the Elimination Chamber with the Wyatt family taking on The Shield. The Wyatt family were successful once again here with a big win over The Shield. And later on in the night they would cosh John Cena his shot in the Elimination Chamber match. Hence, setting up a few between Cena and Wyatt at WrestleMania 30. However, on this night, it was Cena who would come out victorious, giving Wyatt his first pinfall loss on the main roster. He would go on to have feuds with Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho, and at the 2015 Royal Rumble entered at number 5, lasting an impressive 47 minutes, making several eliminations along the way. This would lead to Wyatt's biggest match to date, he was taking on The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. However, Wyatt again would come up short here on the big stage. But there is no disgrace losing to the dead man at Mania, of course, many had beforehand also. And all was certainly not lost as we fast forward to around two years later, where Bray Wyatt captured the WWE Championship for the first time in his career. It was Wyatt winning the 2017 Elimination Chamber However, it was to be short-lived as he would lose the title to Randy Orton at WrestleMania 33. 
And who can forget this, the feud between Woken, Matt Hardy, and Bray Wyatt. Initially, the two were enemies before teaming up. They were known as the Deleters of Worlds, and would go on to become the Raw Tag Team Champions. However, ultimately Hardy would suffer an injury, and it was at this time where Wyatt was taken off TV and would leave the company for almost a year. During his time off, Wyatt knew he had to come up with something to help save his career, and we all know of that brilliant creative mind that he did have, and this is when fans got to experience The Fiend. A new look, it was Wyatt in a devilish mask, new aggressive theme music, a total revamp for the character, and it got over, fans loved it, it was something awesome to behold. And this character was put side by side with this guy, the Bray Wyatt from the Firefly Funhouse. You couldn't get more of a contrast between two characters, but Wyatt was able to pull it off seamlessly. As The Fiend, he would go on to win the Universal Championship from Seth Rollins at Crown Jewel in October of 2019, but would then lose the title to Goldberg four months later in February of 2020 at the Super Showdown pay-per-view. Wyatt then went on to WrestleMania that year to face a man who he had faced once before at WrestleMania, and then of course is John Cena. However, this time around, things were quite different. It was a cinematic match, a surreal trip through pro wrestling history, if you will, except this time it was The Fiend and not Cena who was victorious. After the debacle of a loss that was his match with Goldberg, The Fiend would go on to capture the Universal Championship for a second time, and this was when he defeated longtime rival Braun Strowman at that year's SummerSlam. However, it was shortly after at Payback where The Fiend lost his title to Roman Reigns in a triple threat match where Reigns pinned Strowman. We saw an amazing alliance here between Alexa Bliss and Bray Wyatt, with Bliss turning into a very dark character, and the two complemented each other so well. And so we come to December of 2020 at the TLC pay-per-view. It was The Fiend taking on old rival Randy Orton in a Firefly Inferno match. Orton would win, leaving The Fiend laying in a pool of flames. However, The Fiend would return from this with a nasty new look, go on to face Orton once again at WrestleMania, it was Orton who once again got the win here, and following WrestleMania, Wyatt was then released from the company. And so it wasn't till well over one year later in September of 2022, where we saw various hints, and riddles, and QR codes that you could scan, which would lead to clues that a Bray Wyatt return was inevitable. And it came at the end of the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in October of 2022, where we saw the amazing return once again of Bray Wyatt, however this time in another new persona. And the place came unglued, it was an epic moment. However, this was all to be very short-lived. Wyatt had returned, provided us with some very personal promos, this is a, a version of me that I'm, I've never got to introduce to you guys before. This is just me being me, genuine me for the first time. Feuded with LA Knight, introduced us to the Uncle Howdy character, but sadly it all came to an end on August the 24th, 2023. Wyatt had been off WWE television for several months at this point, and everyone was expecting him back soon. However, what fans didn't know is Wyatt was dealing with a real-life illness at this point. A life-threatening illness. And on August the 24th, 2023, at the age of just 36, Wyndham Rotunda died of a heart attack while asleep at his home in Claremont, Florida. A man who had provided us with so much entertainment, laughter, chills. He shared his intelligence and creativity with us. But now, it was all over. Triple H announced Rotunda's death, and from there, many, many tributes from fellow WWE superstars, friends, 
poured in for Wyatt, with everyone showing just how much he had meant to them, and what he had done for them. He was, um, simple yet deeply complex individual, and, um, I loved him. I loved him. I loved working with him, but mostly I just loved being around him. It was revealed that Rotunda had COVID-19 and that had exacerbated an already pre-existing heart condition. No one could believe it. This came as a great shock to all, none more than his partner and his children. This was a man who gave us a lot and we love what he did. A man of many characters who will never be forgotten. Follow the Fireflies, Bray Wyatt. Uh, but I look, at it, I look at it as, you know, go hard now, and then uh, you'll get to enjoy the, the fruits of the labor later in your life. And that's, that's where I want to be. You know, uh, I want to provide as best I can for as long as I can so that when I'm done, uh, I'm done. And I'm going to stay around uh, where I live, and I'll be able to enjoy uh, uh, all the hard work I put in my entire life, you know. Thanks heaps guys for tuning into the video. Be sure to drop a scorpion death drop on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome pro wrestling action from the WWE, the WCW and much more.